And now, hello, we're coming to you live from Asia World Expo in Hong Kong, the venue for Hong Kong's biggest fashion sourcing show, Global Sources Fashion. Are you interested in a behind the scenes walk around of the show venue the day before it opens? Great, because that's what we're here to do. Uh, right now we are in uh, hall two, one, two. I always forget which hall this is. Uh, this is one, actually. So, as you can see behind us, uh, people are, behind me, people are setting up. This is the fashion jewelry area, uh, where you'll find such things as various accessories, headbands, necklaces, earrings, well, jewelry stuff, uh, as you would expect, makeup brushes, little makeup bags and purses and so on. Accessories of all kinds, in fact. By tomorrow, this will all be uh, pristine and ready to go. Over here, this is the Xiamen uh, Pavilion, so all kinds of suppliers from the uh, clothing and bags and textiles capital of China, pretty much. Over here in the end of Hall 1 is the conference venue where you can uh, see seminars from industry experts about fashion trends, technology in fashion and how that is changing things for everyone around the world involved in fashion sourcing and the Sourcing 101 series, which is all about the nuts and bolts of doing business in the fashion industry, but more generally in sourcing and online retail as well. Backpacks and luggage is over here. Fashion Tech Zone is over here, full of high-tech products. You see we've got a few hold alls and backpacks up just up here from Shanghai Promart. So if you would like to come to this show, uh, you can do that. It opens tomorrow, the 27th of April, and runs until the 30th. And now you can get free admission and free transport to the venue by going to globalsources.com slash exhibitions. Uh, the quick look just over there, that kind of... Uh, well, I was going to say the grey carpeted area, but that is not what it's going to look like quite by tomorrow. They'll have taken up all the floor coverings. But yeah, this is the fashion tech zone, uh, where you'll find people like uh, Norway Technology Share and these guys, Pulling Enterprises, who are offering... Actually, I'm not sure what they're offering. And we'll come back and talk to them pretty soon anyway. We'll have a fashion tech zone walk around, chatting to exhibitors during the show. So stay tuned to the Facebook feed for that one. And yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, globalsources.com exhibitions is where you preview all of the exhibitors and their products and also contact suppliers directly before you even come to the show. So definitely go and visit that. Get your free admission set up. Uh, it saves you time when you arrive as well. Uh, less queuing to get your admission badge. Yeah. All right, let's um, head this way. We're going to scoot outside, cross the lobby, which is where the registration counter is, so I memorize that when we see it. And then we'll go over into Hall uh, 5, I think is the first one on this side, where we'll see yet even more things, uh, including the eventually at the far end, the fashion parade stage, the India Pavilion, uh, f fabrics, apparel, and so forth. I think the footwear thing is... Oh, do you know what we haven't uh, looked at? Oh, yeah, I think footwear's that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, OK, so here's the timetable for the Fashion Tech Zone product demo. So it starts, starts tomorrow, and you can see yeah, insoles, anti-theft bag gloves, body scanners, muscle stimulation gym suit. Actually, we're doing a product demo of that at some point as a live stream uh, during the show, so... Uh, curious to find out what that actually means and is so let's go over this way so this cavernous chamber is the east lobby if you get the shuttle bus or uh, most shuttle buses the taxis or the train you'll end up in here some shuttle buses also drop off at the other end in the west lobby but basically just proceed directly ahead until you see a big sign saying registration like that and then go there, and that's where you get your badge and buy a pack and so on. Over here, I should point out, this uh, charming turquoise and cerise number is the what we call the pre-registration counter. So it's where you can book your place at our upcoming shows, either October this year, April next year. And if you pre-register for the Lifestyle Show, which is new in October, uh, there's a free coffee you can get with your face on it. So do that. It's pretty good. Let's uh, see what we can see in here. Hi -ya. Oh, sorry, there you go. How are, we, how are we doing for time? We're going to cut this a little fine, I think. All right, so <laughs> here we are in Hall 5. Uh, this is, has lots of big fancy booths at this end because this is where you find some of those sort of premium uh, brands. This then is the underwear and swimwear zone uh, where you'll find, as you, well, as the name suggests, <laughs> underwear and swimwear. 
of uh, various kinds. I'll also look out for these little placards that tell you who accepts small orders. Great for online retailers and ODM, OBM offerings as well. You'll find them not only on little, little signs around the show, but also on the website. If you filter uh, the uh, supplier listings or indeed the product preview listing on the fashion show website at globalsources.com, uh, I will just o only show products that uh, are available with low MOQs or through various other criteria, country of origin, product category, um, anything you like, really. Uh, over on our left here, I'm looking at, let's take a, let's take a peek. Yeah, looks like ladies wear. <laughs> there we go. Up here on the left, this is the pretty large sportswear section. So you can see that uh, has, well, these guys, because they're doing functional fabrics, showing off some uh, swimwear, but also other, other functional fabric applications are available. And then we have things like, yeah, polo shirts, outdoor wear, uh, yeah, hiking gear, sports uniforms, cycling shirts, anything like that is over here in sportswear. There's another Xiaomi pavilion. So, whereas the one across the way is uh, for, that's the sort of accessory side. This is the uh, garments and functional fabrics side of uh, Xiaomi. If you're just joining us, this is a live walk around behind the scenes the day before uh, Global Sources Fashion opens. The show runs from the 27th to the 30th of April. It's Hong Kong's biggest fashion sourcing show. And so we're just taking a quiet look uh, while, while the coast is clear uh, before everything starts tomorrow uh, and all the business starts getting done in earnest. Okay, so over here on the left, uh, you can't really see all these kind of blue, um, blue and white patterned uh, banners indicate the presence of the Vietnam Pavilion. In this case, specifically the Ho Chi Minh City Pavilion, uh, it's sort of uh, they have a couple of different trade organisations from Vietnam that arrange uh, for that. They are Vietnam is a very big and growing alternative source for garments and kind of fashion production as an alternative to mainland China. Uh, one of uh, several, actually. Uh, but for the very much established hubs we have over here, uh, Jiangsu Province's Pavilion, that's kind of the textile base of the world, as they say on their signage. Let's see what else we've got. That's uh, over, way over in the corner. I don't think we have time to do this before they close the venue. There's the fashion parade stage. It's like a fashion catwalk show uh, showing things by young designers uh, and uh, exhibitors here at the show. Uh, but let's, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, as we pass through sweaters and knitwear and socks and leggings over there on the right, we could have a quick look, I think, at the young designers corner which is a showcase of like, rising new talent from uh, Hong Kong and elsewhere, frequently. Um, kind of design students, their graduation designs from different institutions around the place. Whole bunch of socks over here. There we go. Just around the corner, here we go. This is the young designers showcase. Very much the, uh, <laughs> the old couture end of things. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's, it's very practical day-to-day -day wear, um, something you might just pop on to go down the shops or, um, you know, perhaps, you know, just uh, attend your daughter's clarinet recital, that kind of thing. So, yeah, you can come and see these. These also, I think, will be appearing. I've forgotten the timing, but uh, you'll be able to see some of these creations in a fashion parade show of their own. Uh, actually, the 29th, I think, is one of those days. There's also the Rising Designers Corner, somewhere around here, over there, uh, which is where you can meet fashion startups and yeah, exciting small, uh, small dynamic producers from, again from Hong Kong, but also from further afield. Uh, we have quite a lot of uh, interesting origin stories for those uh, designers and producers. So that's definitely worth checking out and you can get some really, uh, looking about to say really unique, that's redundant, but really exclusive opportunities to source from people there. So we'll leave it there. If you would like to come to this show, and I think you should want to, then you can do that by going to globalsources.com slash exhibitions. Uh, the fashion show runs from the 27th to the 30th of April. It's here at Asia World Expo, just one minute away from Hong Kong International Airport. Free admission, free transport to the venue, and all the details that you need are there at globalsources.com. We hope you'll make it to the show. In the meantime, thank you for watching uh, this very relatively brief uh, behind-the-scenes video. Uh, thank you and goodbye.